With action and suspense out of the Old West comes the most famous hero of them all, Hopalong Cassidy, starring William Boyd. The ring of the silver spurs heralds the most amazing man ever to ride the prairies of the early West. Hopalong Cassidy, the same Hoppy you cheer in motion pictures, and the same California you've laughed at a million times. Raw courage and quick shooting have built a legend around this famous hero. Hopalong is a name to be feared, respected, and admired. For this great cowboy rides the trails of adventure and excitement. William Boyd as Hopalong Cassidy and Andy Clyde as California. What's our story this time, Hoppy? We call this the devil in El Diablo. It was early February when California and I threw our diamond hitches on two pack horses and started the long journey to the eastern slopes of towering Mount Diablo. We were headed for Sulphur Valley, and that's a third of the way to Diablo's top. There we were supposed to rendezvous with a party of army officers who had started from the other side and should have reached Diablo's summit and descended again by the time we got there. But they hadn't. When we reached our destination, we saw no one. Sulphur Valley was as desolate as ever and quite deserted. Whoa there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, boy. Well... Looks like nobody's here yet, Hoppy. Ah, uh, so I see. I wonder. Well, nothing to worry about, I guess. Like the climb took longer than expected. Now, well, while we're waiting, let's set up camp and get a fire going. Sure, sure. Know any of these fellas we're supposed to meet? No, I never met them. Put that thing over there. All I know is they wanted some guide. General Harrison arranged it. Mm-hmm. General Harrison. <laughs> wonder if he's crazy, too. Crazy? What are you talking about? Well, look up there. Never thought anything of it till we got here, Hoppy. But just take a look. <laughs> That's a real mountain. <laughs> sure you is. can't see the top of it for clouds. And look at all that ice and snow. <laughs> yeah. Good thing we're dressed heavy like this. Climb up there, <laughs> you'd have to be crazy. Oh, well, they're mapping it. Sure, sure. That's just what we need. A map of all that snow up there. No, you got it all wrong, California. They're just mapping the valleys and passes. Climbing to the top was their own idea. They make it, they'll be the first. Uh, where do we go after they get here, Hoppy? Uh, off over there? Yeah, all through that hill country over there. They're mapping that, too. That's where they need us. Well, they're paying for it, but seems to me that, uh, w uh, mm, uh, Hoppy, there's something been sticking in my crawl. Yeah, what's that? Didn't we used to hear about this here Mount Diablo quite a lot? Yeah. Seems to me we did. Just can't recollect in what connection. This is where the devil used to hang out. I, I should think so. Hoofs and a forked tail is just what's needed in this part of the country. Uh, but I wasn't joking. Uh, what I, I meant, wasn't wh joking either. The devil was the name of an outlaw. Yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, by golly. Now I remember. Hmm. That was a couple of years ago, weren't it? Yeah, just about. Don't hear him no more. Uh, wonder what happened to him. Uh, no one seems to know. Maybe he's dead. Some people think he might have been killed by his own followers. Stole a lot of money at one time or another, you know. So most people think he slipped across the border and changed his name. Yeah, I see. He used to raid the mining towns over north. Yeah, yeah, I recollect that. Called him the devil because he'd a picture of the devil tattooed on him somewhere, didn't they? Yeah, I heard that, I think. Wonder why he wanted to hang out in the middle of this chunk of desolation. Oh, uh, this just suited his book, California. Whenever the law showed up, he just started climbing. No one ever seemed very anxious to follow. I can believe that, all right. I wouldn't neither. Wait a but second, I... California. Hold it. What is it? Uh, what's the matter? I saw something moving over there. Uh, m m moving? Uh, you sure it was moving? Yeah, I thought... Uh, then, 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 let us move. Uh, the other way. Uh, California, wait. One of the officers. It looks like he's in trouble. Come on. Hello there. What's happened here? Uh, oh. Who are you? I'm Cassidy. This is California Carlson. But what happened... Cassidy, to... am I glad to see you. I'm Lieutenant Martin. And the others... The other others... Yes, what about them? Hey, they trapped, Cassidy. 10,000 feet up, the rock slide, just below the summit. You... You... Yes? You'll have to go after them, Cassidy. Have to go after them or... Or they'll die. Now, 
back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, The Devil and El Diablo. It is now nearly an hour since Lieutenant Martin arrived with the news that his companions had been trapped by a rock slide just below Diablo's icy summit. His descent has torn his clothing to shreds. He is frostbitten, scratched, and bruised. Hoppy and California have been working desperately to revive him. And now... Oh, oh. He's coming too, California. Mm. Martin, mm. Lieutenant Martin, can you hear me? How are you uh, feeling? Oh, rotten. But better than I expected to be. Cassidy, what's up? Sorry, Lieutenant, but I'll have to ask you some questions. Were any of your friends injured by the slide? I can't tell you for sure, Cassidy, but I don't think so. I think it came closer to getting me than it did them. I started down ahead of them to figure out the way to go. Lucky I did, though, if I hadn't, I'd have been trapped there with them. Slide wiped away part of the ledge they were on so they couldn't go either forward or back. How long do you think they can hold out? Oh, it's hard to say. Several days, I should think. The, the worst is the food and the cold. They were low on grub anyway, and up there, sleeping bags don't help much. Those winds cut right through. How long do you think it would take us to reach them? Oh, three days. If we hurried, maybe we could make it in two. Then we'll make it in two. What kind of a climb will we have? Oh, pretty nasty. Plenty of ice and snow. Bad wind. Yeah. There's places where you'll have to go straight up, chipping out your handholds with a pick. Most of the time, you'll be working across the face of a pretty nasty drop. Maybe two, three thousand feet. Ah, uh, we'll make it. You draw some sort of a map so we'll know how to find them. Oh, nothing doing. I'm going along. But you can't. Look at the condition you're in, man. You. Uh... Why, how much mountain climbing have you done, Cassidy? Well, not much. But that doesn't mean that On we... this kind of a climb, it means plenty, Cassidy. Now, don't, don't fool yourself. And don't fool yourself about me. I'm tough. I'm not in near as bad shape as maybe I look. You give me one good night's sleep, and then I'll be as ready to go as anybody. You couldn't start before morning anyhow. You're a good man, Lieutenant. Well, I, I heard you're a good man. Doggone if you ain't both good men. And Hoppy, you can depend on me, too. Uh, don't you fret about a thing while you're gone. I'll be guarding this camp like it was made out of solid gold. Then when you get back... You're uh, coming along. I said, uh, when you get back, I... I said you're coming along. Uh, 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 yeah, yeah, that's what I thought you said. Well, it's been a good life, Hoppy. Why should I complain? Because it has to end so soon. Poppy! <laughs> <laughs> hey! Uh, wait for me! We're waiting. This is where we came for the night. Oh. Ah, tomorrow the clamming really gets tough when we had to start working up the face of those cliffs. How do you feel about mountain climbing now? Hoppy, Hoppy, I, I've changed my mind. Oh? Yeah, yeah. Yesterday when I thought about it, I was scared to die. Now, now I wish I had. California, don't stop there. Keep going. Oh, I can't. I, I'm stuck. You're not stuck. You're scared. You haven't much choice. Either you climb five feet or drop a thousand. Well, we're getting close, Cassidy. We swing across this drop here, and then we work our way up a chute over there. After that, there's a ridge. And then... Cassidy, we made it. Here, give me your hand. I'll pull you up. Here. Uh, uh, here. Uh, uh, there. Where? Where are they? Oh, well, they're right over there. They... They're gone. What? Uh, what did you say, Lieutenant? Well, they... They're gone. They're right on that ledge over there. I marked it by the signs of the slide. Ah, oh, there have been lots of slides up here, Martin. You're sure that's the right one? I don't think it is. Look how the face of that cliff has had a chance to weather. If it had been just a few days ago... I said he, I'm not sure of anything anymore. Except that we'll likely have to go back to where we swung across the canyon. That must be where we got mixed up. Oh, I... oh, oh, what was that? The hobby. Not that way. Look over there. Hey, it's them. It was right here I got turned around. Coming, Captain! I brought help! We're coming right over! <laughs> Right, 
take it easy now. Get some of this chow into and you'll be feeling fit as a fiddle. You're Major Epperly, aren't you? That's right, Cassidy. And I want to tell you that your arrival seems to us like a miracle. Oh, uh, Cassidy, this is Captain Duncan. Hello, hello, Cassidy. Odd place for introductions, eh? But glad to meet you. Happier than I can really say. Well, how do you like our little habitation here, eh? How do you like it? Tarnation. I don't see how you kept the, the wind from sweeping you off in here. <laughs> well, there were times when we weren't quite sure how we did it ourselves. California. Where did Lieutenant Martin go? On around that abutment there, Hoppy. He said he wanted to follow this ledge clear to the end and see if there wasn't a better way of getting down than the way we came. Uh, that's a good idea. There's one more in your party, isn't there, Major? Uh, Lieutenant Wait. Martin said something. I've already seen to him, Hoppy. He's frostbit a little, but otherwise he's all right. I fed him a little chow and put him to sleep back in the holler there. Ah, uh, that's fine. We won't start down before morning anyhow. Glad to see you had no real casualties, Major. Ah, uh, that'll make it a little easier going back. Hey, what was that? Sound like someone calling you. Must have been Lieutenant Martin. He... Yeah, that's Martin, all right. Be right there, Martin. You will have to excuse me, Major. You too, Captain Duncan. Of course, of course. Come on, California. Yeah. Likely he found the other way of getting down he was looking for. Hoppy, uh, I get a better head for heights than I figured I had. This ain't bothering me at all no more. Ah, <laughs> uh, good. Look down there. This is a 3,000-foot drop here if it's an inch. But, uh... Wait a second. Uh, what did you say, Martin? You wait right there. There's not enough room for you around here. I'll be with you in a second. He's found something, all right. Yeah? Coming, Cassidy. Hey, I, uh, I think I found a way of getting down without swinging across. We... Martin, watch out. Oh, what the devil? No, grab something. Wait. But I can't. I can't. I'm slippery. Ah! Oh, golly, Harvey. Oh, golly. Give me your glasses. Here. Can you see him? Is he... Is he dead? I can see him all right. And he's dead. He'd have to be after a fall like that. You can see that from here. Oh, and I was just saying I wasn't scared of accidents no more. No need to be. Huh? That was no accident, California. Martin was murdered. <laughs> This is as far as we go today. We're camping here for the night. Hoppy, uh, Hoppy, uh, you ain't give me a chance to talk to you all day now. Yesterday you said Martin was murdered. Now, uh, what do you mean by that? Just what I said, California. That was murder. But he just slipped, didn't he? Uh, I seen that myself. He was coming around that corner of the ledge there. Then his ankle turned. You and, should have uh, taken a better look at the ledge itself. Uh, uh, if you had, you would have seen the marks of a pick. Someone broke off part of the ledge and they picked between the time Martin rounded that corner and the time he came back. Well, what do you think? They're, well, they're... it might have been Major Epperly, Captain Duncan, or Lieutenant Waite. Uh-huh. Any one of the three would have had the opportunity. They said hey, they... So that's why you asked me to keep still about what you said. Yeah. Huh? Maybe one of them will betray himself. They certainly have... Wait, wait, wait a second, Harvey. Here, trying to sneak up and listen to us, eh? Will you? I... California, who is it? Uh, it's Lieutenant Waite. He was laying here, pretending he was asleep. He... Wait a second. He is asleep, California. Let him down. Can't you see the man's exhausted? Uh Uh-uh. We're both wrong, Hoppy. What do you mean? He wasn't eavesdropping. Neither was he sleeping, Hoppy. Look here. He's got a knife in his heart. Now, back to Hopalong Cassidy and our story, The Devil and El Diablo. Twenty-four hours ago, the party at the summit of icy, snow-clad Mount Diablo numbered six men. Hoppy in California and Major Epperly, Captain Duncan, and Lieutenants Waite and Martin. Now, two are gone, and Hoppy confronts the survivors. Captain Duncan, Major Epperly... Lieutenant Waite, I know, was murdered. Lieutenant Martin, I'm sure, was murdered, even though I couldn't prove it. One of you two murdered them, maybe both of you. Which one of you did it, I don't know, but I do know this. From now on, I'm taking charge, and when we get back to civilization, I'm turning both of you over to the proper authorities. Look here, man, this is preposterous. Accuse me of murder, and I'll make you pay for it. I assure you, I will, I assure you. You do that. 
You look like you've got something on your mind, Major. Better get it off before it poisons you. I'd like to know where we stand. Am I to assume that we're your prisoners? Something like that. That's as good a way of putting it as any, I guess. But I thought I was in charge here. I dislike mentioning rank, but... Mention it all you want. I'm not in the Army. Quite so. Then you have no authority. I have my authority here at my belt. Oh. California and I are the only ones who are armed. Either one of you want to question that authority? Well, as long as you put it that way, Cassidy, no. You're quite definitely in charge. But definitely. Preposterous. It's anarchy. It's preposterous. Then we're agreed. One thing more. Wade is dead, but he's our only proof that murder has been committed. So we're taking him with us. I gave California my rope. You got weight secured, California? All set, Hoppy. Good. You'll have to be lowered from this ledge to the one below us. Duncan, suppose you give California a hand. No. If you think you're making me your flunky, Better Cassidy... Better do what he asks, Cassidy. What? Oh. Well. Yes, sir. If you say so, Major. I do. Yes, sir. If you need another hand, California, let us know. Oh, we'll handle this all right, Hoppy. All right now, Captain. Easy does it. Lower away now. Watch out for that ridge there. Hey! California, what is it? Hoppy! The rope burst. My rope? Wait a second. Let me see that. Here. Here it is. It's cut. That's why the rope broke. It was cut half through. Who did this? You, Duncan? You, Epperly? If one of us had, you'd scarcely expect him to admit it, would you? No, maybe not. But you can't blame me for being interested either. This is my rope. If it hadn't broken with weight, it would have broken with me. If it broken with me, right now I'd be at the bottom of the canyon where weight is. Uncomfortable, eh? Mighty uncomfortable. Yes. But get this through your heads. Watch your steps. The next accident that happens won't happen to California or me. It'll happen to you. <laughs> Everybody finished breakfast? Then I have something to announce. Today you'll do no traveling. You three will stay right here and wait till I get back. Uh, where are you going, Hoppy? I'm going to backtrack a ways. I have a little investigation to make. Uh, couldn't that wait till we got to Sulphur Valley? Too much snow and cold up here to suit me, Hoppy. You make out, California. That bluff there gives you good protection from the wind. If I waited till we reached Sulphur Valley, my job would take longer than a day. You're going back up to Abel? Yeah. Oh, hadn't I better go with you? You'll have to stay and keep your eye on our friends here. Oh. You heard that. When I'm gone, California's in charge. Do as he says. Don't try anything. If you do, you may regret it. When he has to, he can be pretty tough. Doggone right I can. I, uh, say, uh, Hoppy, do I have to stay here alone with these two fellas? You can handle them, California. You'll have the only guns, you know. Something you wanted to say, Major? It's occurred to me why you might be going back, Cassidy. I'd like to say don't. You might learn too much. Could be dangerous. Thanks. Suggestion received and not acted upon. I'll have to be going now, California. Uh, Hoppy, uh, and when you get back, you'll know which one of these two is guilty? Yes, California. I think I will. <laughs> Well, well, what do you want now? I wonder what's happened to your friend Cassidy. It's after dark. He's been gone all day. Doesn't it occur to you that he might have had an accident? Say, uh, you think he has? I think it's very probable. Uh, if I were you, I'd... Uh, yeah, yeah, just one of your tricks again. Well, Hoppy stole me to stay here and watch you, and here's where I'm staying. If you know the Hoppy like I do, you know he don't have no accidents. And that fella knows how to take care of himself. You just rest contented and quit trying to edge up on me. I'm contented enough. Say, uh, that's real pert. Huh? What? Uh, that uh, thing you're humming. <laughs> that's real pretty, I said. Uh, uh, what is it? Oh, <laughs> that's one of my favorites. Like to hear it, would you? Oh, uh, sure, sure. <clears throat> sure thing. Uh, go ahead. Sure. Pretty. Yeah. Pretty. He 
he's asleep. I think he is. Wait a minute. Got him. Come here. Give me a hand. Right. Here, here. What, what, what say? What? Hey, you fellas, leave me alone. Leave me I'd alone. I'd do what he tells you if I were you, my friend. Huh? Back. Get back, both of you. That's right. You right there, Captain. And you stay right there against that bluff, Major. They hurt you any, California? No, I ain't hurt any, Hoppy. But I sure feel bad about this. I guess I fell asleep. Anyhow, the Major there was singing her. And the first thing I know to... Yeah, the Major there is a pretty slick customer. I should have been back sooner, but I had things to do. Yeah, say, that reminds me, Hoppy. You find out what you wanted? You found out uh, who's behind all this? Yes, I did. Then tell me. I've been aching to know which one was it. The Major there or Captain Duncan? Neither one. Oh, uh, what? Uh... Oh, what? Uh, yeah, I thought you said... Uh, you... I said that Waite and Martin were killed by neither Epperly or Duncan. I'll explain. They... You don't have to explain. You do know the truth, don't you, Cassidy? Yes, I do. All of it. That's too bad. Who for? For you. You in California. That means you'll have to die. That's so? But you're not armed. How would you set about killing us? But I am armed. Get your hands up. Reach, both of you. California, where do you get that gun? Up here, I don't know. Hey, one of mine's missing. That must be one of mine. Yeah. Right. You got here in time to keep us from finishing him, Cassidy. But not in time to prevent me from taking one of his guns. Sorry you have to end this way, Cassidy. But as long as it's your life and not mine, I'm naturally not as sorry as I might have been. <laughs> You're a fool, Major. No, that's wrong. You're not Major Epperly, are you? What is your real name? I don't think it matters, Cassidy. Major's good enough. I rather like the sound of it. What's your real name, Captain Duncan? That's something you'll never know, Cassidy. What did you mean about his being a fool? Just what I said. If he wanted to kill us, he should have waited until morning. No one can shoot accurately by firelight, and he knows it. Talk, Cassidy, and you know it. But before I kill you, suppose you tell me what you found back up there. What you knew I'd find. The bodies of the real Major Epperly and his party. I'm all mixed up, Hoppy. Who's these fellers, then? If I'm not mistaken, the devil and his followers. The devil? Oh, oh I know that outlaw we was talking about. Right. I am right, huh, Major? Of course. What were you doing back here? Why did you kill Epperly and his men? Suppose you guess. I think I can. I have an idea that you had some of your loot hidden out on Diablo. You probably came back for it, ran into Epperly's party, and misunderstood what they were doing on Diablo. You probably thought they were after your loot. We did. We were sorry for it afterwards. But by then, the damage had been done. So you helped yourself to their uniforms and the slide trapped you. Right. But what put you on all this? You did. Under the circumstances, you were a little too military and not always correctly. That suggested the truth. When I backtracked and found where you'd met Epperly and his men, I knew I'd been right. And Slim and Phillips, you know why they died? They were the men calling themselves Waite and Martin? Yes. I'll make another guess. You started getting rid of your followers so that you could have the loot to yourself. <laughs> partly right and partly wrong, Cassidy. Yeah? I see there's some things you don't understand. Shoot them, confound it. Shoot them and get it over with. That Cassidy's too smart. The longer you wait, the better chance you're giving him. Just a moment, He's I... right. There has been too much talk. As long as you're alive, you're dangerous. So I'll... Now, wait. You don't understand. If you fire that snow... California, down! Run for it. You started that snow slide, and I told you not to... Hoppy. That snow buried him. He's a dead man. He's buried under tons and tons of it. I tried to warn him, but he wouldn't listen. No, you don't, mister. Stop right What's there. What's the matter? Our friend who calls himself Captain Duncan thought this would be a good time to get away. Come here. That's right. Stop right there. Where do you think you were going? Well, the devil's dead. You saw him get buried under that snow, didn't you? It was him ordered all these killings. What do you want me for? You're sure the devil was responsible for all this? You're very sure? Of course. He gave the orders, didn't he? 
All the rest of us just did what he... Ha, ha, ha! I just wanted to hear you admit that you gave the orders. That's all. All right, California, tie him up. We're taking him in. Uh, him? Uh, he gave the orders? Of course. He's the fellow they call the devil. If there's any doubt about it, I think we'll find a tattoo on him to prove it. Well, I'll be doggone. So this is the devil. A hoppy, uh, hmm, wears his hoofs and fork and tail. <laughs> oh, he'll have them, California. About 15 minutes after they hang him. <laughs> Well, that certainly was a surprise, and especially after we thought the devil had been killed. But they never fool Hoppy for long. You can be sure of that. In their next adventure, Hoppy and California meet up with the lawyer of Laredo and become involved in a feud that is as exciting as it is dangerous. Hop Along Cassidy, starring William Boyd, is transcribed and produced in the West by Walter White, Jr. The Devil and El Diablo was written by Gibson Scott Fox, with original music under the personal direction of Albert Glasser. All stories are based upon the characters created by Clarence E. Mulford. This is a Commodore production. <laughs>